This is the six foot under challenge at Digger's Diner in Concord, California. And it comes with a variety of sweet treats and delicious eats that are to die for. First, you have a choice of an appetizer. In this case, I went with jalapeno poppers. Then you have the main course, which is the Crypt Burger, which is made with two third pound burger patties, two types of cheese, bacon, and some veggie toppings that is all sandwiched in between three thick slices of Texas toast. Then for the sides, you have their ballpark cheesy fries. There's also a fruit cup, which does seem out of place, but I'm all for it. This is where the fat kid inside gets really excited because with this challenge also comes a side of deep fried Oreos as well as a milkshake of your choice. Now, before starting my challenge, there were actually two others looking to take this challenge down as well, Roy and Travis. The crowd and I, we cheered them on as they looked to take down this challenge under the 30 minute time limit in order to get the meal free, a free shirt, and their picture up on the restaurant's wall of fame. Five, four, three, two, And let this epic looking food adventure begin. Starting out by first taking a few bites of those juicy beef patties with that delicious bacon, cheese, and other toppings. And right away, I knew I was in for one heck of a tasty time, especially when I decided to incorporate that Texas toast and make a nice little open-faced burger. <laughs> Travis isn't looking like he's off to the best start, but we are all in his corner, with of course the occasional lighthearted jokes. Finishing my open faced burger, I took that middle slice of Texas toast, folded it up all with its contents, and then it was time to go to town and send it down. This looks like some bad news for Travis, as it looks like this six foot under challenge has buried him. Now it's just down to the two of us. Done with the Crip Burger, now it's time for those cheesy ballpark fries. In here, I was having a good time because oh my, the globs of melted cheese that melded and fused with those softer seasoned fries, it was exceptional. Soaking in those great vibes from the crowd as I continued on, looking to avoid being the next victim of this challenge. Now, my first week back, I usually just do cardio to let my heart get caught up. Shove all the badness out. Don't you roll your eyes, I saw that. I wasn't trying to hide it. Just having a bit of back and forth with Randy here. Generally, I do try to hold back my witty and cheeky responses, but here, I just couldn't help myself. And I quickly diverted my attention back to the fries, because one thing I forgot to mention is that these ballpark cheesy fries have some garlic on them, which was a nice touch, but a lot of that garlic actually pooled to the bottom, making those last few bites a bit harder to put down. On the bright side, at least I won't have to worry about any encounters with vampires. And I'm guessing for at least the next month or so. Yeah! Yeah! 
there's no question here. I was immediately switching to the Diet Coke to wash all that garlic down. And with my second item finished, it was time to move on to the jalapeno poppers. And no surprise here, they were banging. The golden brown outside had a crispy crunch to it that was very enjoyable, and it had a nice contrast with the softer jalapeno inside, as well as a creamier cheese that burst with flavor with each bite. And while these did pack some heat, it wasn't intense, just enough to add some nice flavor into the mix. You might be thinking, hey, you're supposed to eat your fruits and veggies before dessert. Now, while I agree with you, the fat kid inside me doesn't, and he couldn't wait any longer. So I put the fruit on hold and went straight for those deep fried Oreos. And I'm pretty certain we can all agree that there's nothing that needs to be said here, right? Like, if you're asking, were they any good? I mean, they're Oreos that are deep fried. I'm pretty sure that speaks for itself. I still have no idea what fruit is doing in this challenge, but if it's the one thing that keeps me from going six feet under after this challenge, fine by me. But will he drink the juice? Will he drink the juice? Come on, Randog. You know how it goes. Clean plate, clean conscience. Oh baby, saving the best for last, the Nutella milkshake. And let me tell you, it was thick. That's thick spelt with three C's, maybe even four. As I quickly found out, I wasn't just gonna be able to simply sit back and drink it all down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, you got it. <laughs> By the way, those cheers are not for me, they're for Roy, as his time is running out. Two minutes and 15 seconds. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got it. Come on. You got this. Come on. All of it. Big handful. <laughs> One minute, 15 seconds. Oh, yeah. You got it. Come on. Just about. Just about. Come on. Come on. Come on. Pound it. While I was able to take down my challenge, unfortunately, Roy was just shy, only needing to finish the rest of his fries. Now these adventures, they're not over, so embark on the next one by tapping the video on the screen or the link below. And when you do, I'll see you there. Well, I'd only have to do that a few more times. Let's get her up.